<laughs> These students made a road trip from Gloucester to the State House in a 1923 Ford Model T Roadster. It's a donated classic car that now has a very modern twist. These Ponagansett seniors have spent the last few months converting the car from gasoline to electric. It now uses no gas and reportedly creates no pollution. We've achieved phase one, which was to get this running on battery electric power. The students say they drove the car to the State House on this election day to draw attention to the need for alternative fuels. You can just have efficient energy and it's clean. Converting the cars to battery power, powered by hydrogen, is definitely a good idea. It's a progressive idea. We're the only high school in the state that does it, so I'm pretty thrilled to be part of that. This car can go about 17 miles before it needs to be recharged. The first thing you notice when you start the engine is how quiet it is. It's definitely interesting not being able to, you know, hear it. I like the idea of not being totally dependent on some kind of fuel source that would run out soon. And the car isn't finished yet. Next, we're going to be putting on a fuel cell. It'll run on hydrogen and oxygen from the air and create zero pollution. The only emission will be pure water. We plan on taking this 400 miles to Washington, D.C. Well, no one will hear their car coming, but students are hoping people will hear their message. Kelly McGee, NBC 10 News, Providence.